I'm proper bored in lockdown, so I decided to record my daily routine that happens, as lockdown basically just feels like Groundhog Day. I recorded from the 27th of April to the 28th, showing you what I do and how. Later on in the video is an Infinity War review, as it's been like two years since I watched it at cinema, and I want to see if my thoughts have changed at all. I also won two Warzone solo games, so I'll be showing gameplay from them also. Sort of like similar to one of Luke the Notable videos, but in real life. So, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's get into day one. I got up on the 27th of April at around 10 o'clock, but I've been awake since like 9, but I just couldn't be asked getting up, which is how like most days have been spent. By the way, can we just like appreciate this setup and all? Only two wires you can see is from keyboard and mouse, which is expected obviously. Other than that, I've done so much cable management, you can't even see any basically. I then got ready for the day. I walked past these weights I could have been using. I checked my subscriber count and it's currently 2360, so thanks so much. I then walked past those weights again and sat and watched Netflix for half an hour. New series of Afterlife's just been released, so I decided to watch that. It's been quite good so far. At 11 o'clock, weather looked quite warm, so I decided to sit outside for a while. It's typical as soon as we go in lockdown, weather turns great for weeks, and you can bet as soon as lockdown ends it'll chuck it down. I got warm so I went and got some coke and a bun, however, some prefer these to be mixed together, if you know what I mean. At 12 o'clock some went in a little bit so I went on Xbox on Modern Warfare. I've been using this new weapon called Growl 5.56, it's actually really good if you've got good aim and you can hit your shots as it kills quickly. Definitely gets more efficient when you unlock attachments like the stock and foregrip. I didn't use a red dot scope as I think the iron sights look good on their own and it's easier to hit targets anyway. I've recently got the M4A1 gold and that's part of a video I'm currently editing. It should be up when this video is released. At 1 o'clock I got hungry so I made myself a burger. Nothing else really happened. Just more sitting around as usual. At 2 o'clock I made some homemade milkshakes that taste just as good as any other. I made a Nutella one and an Oreo one. Oreo one tastes so similar to Crushens made at KFC. So if you're getting with jaw symptoms from not having KFC, I suggest you make this. So you put in 3 scoops for ice cream, then you fill it up with milk and you put around 3 to 4 Oreos in. I'm using a blender but you can like mix the ingredients together with some like tools that you've got in the kitchen or something. After it's blended it tastes right good. It's basically the exact same for a Nutella taste as that you put in 3 to 4 spoons of Nutella instead. Honestly, if you've got no better to do, let's face it, we really aren't. Just try this. At 3 o'clock I watched a lot of Mr Beast videos who was one of my favourite YouTubers. At 4 o'clock I got bored again so I went on a one and a half mile run which took me around 20 minutes to do. I either like to go on a walk or a run or get some kind of fresh air. At 5 I watched some more at series of new afterlife. I think it's a lot funnier than last time and Ricky Gervais blends comedy and dark themes together really well. They should really come up with a name for these type of shows. At 6 o'clock I moved downstairs to watch afterlife. At 7 o'clock I had my tea and knocked dilute orange all over the floor. At 8 o'clock I watched a bit of come fly with me. At 9 I watched the SES celebrity special. And happily watch Katie Price leave. From 10 to 11 o'clock, I played Warzone trying to get my first ever win. I could tell I were getting closer and closer. At 12 o'clock, I continued editing my golden M4A1 video, which should be out, like I say. I woke up on the 28th of April at around quarter to 11, and I took part in the minute silence for all the key workers who have lost their lives. I think it's great that we clap every Thursday, but really, we should celebrate as NHS all the time. Weather today wasn't half as good as yesterday. In fact, it was raining, so I couldn't really sit outside. Also, I woke up on this day with my wrist and hand really aching, and not for the reason you think, you dirty bugger. I got my breakfast, obviously went for a healthy option of Cocoa Pops, and sat down where I spent most of my time in this lockdown. Seti, swear there's like a permanent mould on my body in this chair, that's how long I've spent here. I then watched even more Afterlife, and then even more at 12. By one, I'd finished the whole of season 2, and it was great. I thought there was a lot more comedy or moments that I laughed at in this season. The final scene at last episode was really suspenseful, and I can't wait for the next season, if they do make one. That's my Afterlife review, and why I'm not a full-time reviewer, because all I can say is, it were alright. I then played a Warzone match, determined to win, which I did. My first ever win. Ah! I played for quite a while after until 10 to 4, where I gave up trying to get a second win after being run over by a car. Then, at 5, I watched Infinity War, which is my favourite MCU film. This film like, had so much potential before its release and so much hype, they managed to live up to the hype and potential perfectly. They did what Justice League massively failed to do. Right from the start, usual bright Marvel intro with a theme is gone. A dark theme plays with an Asgardian crying out for help. Thanos' introduction is also perfect. Where we don't see his face until after his speech and the way he just easily beats Hulk shows his power. The way Doctor Strange says who 
and then it cuts to the Avengers theme and Avengers Infinity War pops up. Got me so excited when I first saw it. The film handles comedy, sadness, all the characters, intro, ending, fights, dialogue and fan service, again, perfectly. The four entrants in Wakanda, again, right good. Like I say, the ending was also great. The way, for once, the heroes don't suddenly beat the villain at the end and win. This time, they lose. Instead of a final shot of our heroes, we get a final shot of Thanos smiling. This film's basically Thanos' story, and he do sympathise him with a bit, due to like, seeing his backstory. And his plan sort of does make sense in a way. He's not just another villain who wants to kill everyone for no reason at all other than being extremely evil. What if MCU would have standard here? Like, can you imagine? It would have been both mint and sad at the same time. Personally, I would have loved this actually. However, we got Endgame which is still great, but basically just undoes everything from Infinity War. I give Infinity War a 9.5 out of 10. For the rest of the night, I played Warzone, but didn't get another win. The closest I got were with a full gas mask, heartbeat sensor, thermal sniper and thermal AR. However, me and Tina weren't having it, and I lagged out. But then... At 25 past 11, I won my second Warzone game at day. What a way to end it. Stay safe everyone.